Good morning students. Today I will teach you chapter number 20 of your English grammar and the topic is direct and reported speech. First part statements and commands and requests. In this chapter we will study to change the assertive sentence and imperative sentence into indirect speech. Students, I have written some points here. Just see, words spoken by someone can be presented in two ways. First one is direct speech and second one is indirect speech. <coughs> what is direct speech and what is indirect speech? You have to know. When the actual words spoken by a person are reproduced, it is called direct speech. For example, he said, I am a boy. It is what? It is a direct speech. Because it is the actual word of the speaker. And now what is indirect speech? When those words, means the words which is said by someone. When those words are reported by someone else in his or her own words, it is called indirect speech. For example, he said that he was a boy. Here, here <coughs> that has been added in place of I, he has been used in place of M, was is here. So some changes have been made here. That's why it is an indirect speech okay one thing more a direct speech has two parts he said comma inverted comma i am a boy full stop inverted comma closed the part which is not within the inverted comma that is known as reporting speech and the portion which is inside the which is within the uh, inverted comma that is known as reported speech this portion is no called reporting speech and this one is reported speech always keep this thing in your mind okay here now see the rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech students there are three rules to change direct speech into indirect speech and they are change of person change of tenses and change of other parts of speech so first of all, see change of person. S O N upon 1, 2, 3. Students, you know that there are three persons. First person, second person, third person. It means first person change according to the subject of reporting speech. Second person's pronoun change according to the object of reporting speech. And third person no change means the pronouns the pronouns of first person change according to the subject of reporting speech the pronouns of second person change according to the object of reporting speech and the pronouns of third person never change uh, now what are the pronouns of first person second person and third person so just listen the pronouns of first person are I, me, my, mine, we, us, our, ours. Second person pronouns you, your, yours. Third person pronouns he, him, his, she, her, her, it, its, they, them, their. Once again, first person's pronoun. I, me, my, mine, we, us, our, ours. Second person's pronoun. You, your, yours. Third person. He, him, his. She, her, hers. It, its, they, they, their. So, when the pronouns of first person and second person will be there in direct speech then these pronouns will be changed and if there will be the pronouns of third person then we will not change the pronouns of third person okay 
फर्स्ट पर्सन अकॉर्डिंग टू सब्जेक्ट सेकेंड पर्सन अकॉर्डिंग टू ऑब्जेक्ट थर्ड पर्सन नो चेंज क्लियर सी द एग्जाम्पल ही सेट टू मी आई विल बीट यू He said to change into told me that we never change the pronouns, which is in reporting speech. We only change the pronouns that are in reported speech. He told me we remove inverted comma that I. It is the pronoun of first person, so it will change according to he according to the subject of reporting speech. He is the pronoun of third person. That's why I will be changed into he. Okay, will into will in a uh, change into would be first form and you. It is the pronoun of second person, so it will change according to the object. The object is of first person. That's why you will change into first person. It is in place of object. That's why here. me we will write me that is in objective case okay he would beat me so i uh, has changed into he according to subject and you it has changed into me according to the object me okay students now see the second rule change of tenses here i have written direct here i have written indirect simple present if the direct speech is in simple present then it changes into simple past present continuous past continuous present perfect tense past perfect tense present perfect continuous tense past perfect continuous tense simple past tense past perfect tense past continuous tense past perfect continuous tense past perfect continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous no change Will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might. Is a noun. Was one. Was one. Had been. And could, should, would, ought to, might. No change. These are the rules of change of tenses. Means if the reported speech is in these tenses, and uh, when we change. Uh, that sentences into indirect speech so these tenses uh, would be changed into these tenses simple present simple past present continuous past continuous present perfect past perfect present perfect continuous past perfect continuous simple past past perfect past continuous past perfect continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous we never change Will, would, shall into should, can into could, be into might, is I am into was one, was one into had been, and could, should, would, ought to, and might. Uh, these models, these model auxiliaries never change. Okay, students. Now see one important, very important point. Reporting verb in present or future tense. Tenses in the reported speech remain unchanged. students if the reporting verb if the reporting is speech in present or future tense then the tenses in the reported speech remain unchanged means if the reporting verb is in present or future tense in any part of present or future then we never change the tense of reported speech in which condition we change reporting verb in past tense tenses in reported speech change when the reporting verb only in when the reporting verb is only in past tense then the tense of reported speech change reporting verb is in past tense when the reporting verb will be in past tense when the reporting verb will only be in past tense then the tenses of reported speech will be changed it may be any part of past tense either in simple past past continuous past perfect then the tenses of reported speech will be changed clear so the above mentioned rule means simple present simple past present continuous past continuous the chart which i had written that will be applied with this point when the reporting verb will be in past tense then 
that chart will be applied. If the reporting work is in present or future tense, then the tenses of reported speech will remain unchanged. Now see the example, Pankaj says the teacher did not lose temper. Pankaj says the reporting verb is in present tense, says. That's why the tense of reported speech will never be changed. Okay? Pankaj says that the teacher did not lose. Here, in direct speech did not lose and in indirect also did not lose. It will never be changed. In which condition? when the reporting verb is in present or future tense. Clear? See the second example. He said, I am writing a letter. Here, the reporting verb is in simple past. In past tense, simple past. That's why the change of, uh, the tense of reported speech will be changed. He said that, I, it is the pronoun of first, first person and it will Change according to the subject of reporting speech means I will be changed into third person. He and here am writing present continuous. Here was writing past continuous. He was writing a letter. Okay. Now see the third rule change of other parts of speech. If these words will be in uh, direct speech, then these words will be changed into uh, this one, these words. Now change, now change into them, this, that, this, those, here, there, ago, before, today, that day, tonight, that night, yesterday, the previous day or the previous before, the day before, tomorrow, the next day or the following day, last week or night, the previous week or night, Next week, the following week. These uh, part, other parts of these words would be changed into these words. Okay? Students, now see very important rule. If the reporting verb is in past tense and the reported speech is a historical fact, proverbs, universal truths or habitual action, then the tense of reported speech remain unchanged. If the reporting verb is in past tense and uh, your reported speech is a, a proverb or a historical fact or habitual action or universal truth, then the tense of reported speech remain unchanged. Now see the example. He said, the sun rises in the east. What is this? It is the universal truth. The sun always rises in the east. So, the tense of reported speech will remain unchanged. He said that the sun rises in the east. Though the reporting verb is in past tense, but the report is, reported speech is a universal truth. That's why its tense will never be changed. The teacher said 2 and 2 makes 4. The teacher said that 2 and 2 makes 4. Here, the tense rises rises makes makes it will never be changed okay now see one point students if your reporting verb is say to then it will be changed into tell if it is says to then it will be changed into tells if the reporting verb is said to then it will be changed into told if the reporting verb is only say, says, said, means there is no object after say, says and said, then these reporting verb will remain unchanged. Say to into tells, tell, say to tell, says to tell, said to told and say, says, said remain unchanged. Clear? I hope you all have understood. These are the rules. Now I will tell you some examples. Okay? Students, now see the examples, some examples. He said to me, comma inverted comma, you are not working hard. Said to, I have just told you that uh, if there is the reporting verb is said to, then it will be changed into told. He told me. We remove the inverted comma and we add that here. Then you, it is the pronoun of second person, so it will change. 
according to the object of reporting speech the object of reporting speech is me and it is the pronoun of first person so it will change into first person now you is in place of subject it is in nominative case that's why here we will use i i the tense is present continuous and it will be changed into past continuous because the reporting verb is in past tense i was not working hard clear the tense is the tense of direct speech is present continuous but the tense of indirect speech is past continuous why because the reporting verb is in past tense clear now see the second example she said to meera i will see you next week here again said to so we will change it into told she told meera we will remove remove inverted comma then we will add here that we always add that in statements in assertive sentence when we change the sen uh, assertive sentence into indirect speech we add that okay we write that that uh, i is the pronoun of first person so it will change according to the subject of reporting speech and the subject of reporting speech is of third person uh, and it is in feminine gender that's why here we will write she she will it will be changed into it she you it is the pronoun of second person and it will change according to mira mira is in third person it is a noun and all the nouns are always in third person so here for mira we will use her if uh, here uh, if there will be the name of uh, any boy then we will write here his mira is in feminine gender so we will write here her i will uh, she would she her the next week it will be changed into the following way okay he says i am fine says here now the reporting verb is in present tense simple present tense so what is the rule the tense of reported speech will never be changed he says that and one thing more he has says not there is no object says to as he has said to here is no object that's why says will remain unchanged if i have told that uh, there uh, there would uh, would be says to then it will be tell, uh, changed into tells but here only says is here that's why it will remain unchanged he says that a pronoun the pronoun will change only the tense will not change if the reporting verb is in present or future i it will change according to the subject subject is of third person that's why i will be changed into he am fine so according to he we will use is fine the tense am is it will remain unchanged because the reporting verb is in present tense okay students now see the indirect speech of imperative sentences command request order advice the reporting verb is changed into ordered requested advised prohibited commanded according to sense according to the sense of reported speech we change the reporting verb into ordered requested advised prohibited commanded the verb of the direct speech is changed into an infinitive if the direct speech begins with the words do not the word not is placed before the two infinitive now see the example the teacher said to the children keep quiet the teacher said to the children what is the sense keep quiet order so the teacher ordered the children second rule the verb of the direct speech is changed into an infinitive means we will use to before the verb the teacher ordered the children to keep quiet before verb we will add to the teacher ordered the children to keep quiet we will not use that here in imperative sentence as we were using in assertive sentence in statements okay now see another example the doctor said take this medicine twice a day here the sense of advice is here in uh, reported speech so we will change the reporting verb into advised the doctor advised to take 
this that this will be changed into that that medicine twice a day he said please give me a glass of water here please it is noting that there is a sense of request so the reporting verb will be changed into requested he requested to give him me will be changed into him according to him him a glass of water my father said do not laugh at others my father ordered we will use not before to not to laugh at others or we can change it uh, in another way my father prohibited we can use prohibited also and when we will use prohibited when we use prohibited then we remove not when we use prohibited then we will remove uh, not my father prohibited to laugh at others and if we will use order then we will write not my father ordered not to laugh at others or my father prohibited to laugh at others okay so students this chapter is completed and i i hope that uh, this video will be very useful for you write all these points in your notebook and revise at your home that's all for today thank you and have a nice day ahead